Morning people, today we're gonna show you guys some high protein, low calorie meals that I like to be eating. All right, folks, so you should have guessed it by the actual foods I've just shown you, but the first thing we're gonna do is like a low calorie omelet. And the thing is, the calories could probably even be lower because there's things such as the chorizo, which you don't even need to include, but I add it because the flavor is worth it. And the key thing you have to know now is because I've chosen to have bacon, you've got to cook the bacon first. However, if you want to just make it faster omelette, then use cooked meats, for example, cooked chicken slices or cooked ham. Things like that is already done, that's in the packet in the store. I just like bacon medallions because I just like how they taste. But having ham is a good option. If you don't like pork, have turkey. As you would be surprised how many times I get people messaging me going, oh, but I don't eat pork, what can I do? Just choose something else. It doesn't have to be the exact recipe. Just track it differently when you're going my fitness pal. It's up to you really, but it's all about finding what works for you. The bacon is now cooked, so I've took it out. So what we're gonna do now is on the actual pan, we are going to put the spring onion, just to kind of put some flavor on the plant. Plan. Put some flavor on the actual pan. And one thing I forgot to show you guys is we are gonna do an old school, I call it a semi-poverty recipe, but I don't know if it's common. Basically, when I was younger, my family would always like put milk in the eggs just to kind of give it more volume, because obviously milk's cheaper than buying eggs. So we're gonna do that today, except for I typically use like regular milk when I was at home. I'm gonna try using almond milk. It's just to kind of add it up. It's not to add a crazy amount so it becomes literally mostly milk. It's just to give it a little bit more volume so it's not a crazy amount you need to add. And it's really low calorie obviously because almond milk for 100 milliliters is 13 calories. We're gonna use nowhere near that. We're gonna use probably more like 50 milliliters at most. Alright people, so here is my omelette. I almost forgot to film, I started eating the omelette, but anyway, this is it right now. This is roughly around 290 calories and just over 42 grams of protein and around 11 grams of fat and virtually no carbs. This is a very, very, very tasty meal. And obviously I added the almond milk to kind of add a bit more volume to it, it's a little bit thicker, but it still tastes great because the amount I added of almond milk was very minimal. So it's one of those things just to kind of give it extra size and give it extra volume so you feel fuller. So this is a very simple high protein and I guess low carb meal that you can definitely add to your day. It's definitely one of the favorite breakfasts that I have. This, the French toast and things like that are some of my go-to staples for having breakfast. But anyways, I'm gonna eat these before it gets cold. So stay tuned for the next high protein meal I'm gonna show you guys. Don't mind the sweat people, just finished getting off the cardio machine. Anyways, the next meal, you probably guessed it, is a protein smoothie. I'm gonna show you my go-to staple, the one I like the most. And peeps is literally that simple, that is all the main ingredients. Very, very simple, and all you do is, depending on your consistency, if you like it thinner, when you, when you blend it, if it still looks a bit thick, you add water. If you like it thicker, either add ice, or if you want to have more flavoursome, add more strawberries or the frozen fruit. Um, be careful not to have bananas, because they're a bit more high calorie than the strawberries. But that is the main kind of protein smoothie I have. Uh, sometimes I add these additions, which I'll probably will today as well. These little high fiber things that you can add to this one, super greens. Uh, this one's called the Digestive Boost. And in essence, I've got a few different versions of these. Just simply to add extra fiber, keep your digestion moving. Uh, do them every so often. At one point, they were like a daily thing I put in there, but Having too many of them does change the taste of the smoothie, especially the super greens one. The other ones can kind of blend in. The super greens, you can taste it, so I don't have that one too, too frequent, but it is a good addition to have. And here is the consistency. It's fairly thick, but I prefer it a little bit thicker. So what I'm gonna do is add a couple more strawberries. And one thing I totally forgot to add as well is one of the things that makes it taste the best is either the raspberry or strawberry uh, flavor drops. 
these little zero calorie drops makes it have that more of that like kind of strawberry milkshake kind of taste. Doesn't need to be a lot, literally three extra strawberries. All right guys, and that is the tasty protein smoothie done. Um, and yeah, normally I drink it straight out of this, but I'll show you guys in a glass, you can see the consistency. That's the volume you're getting. That's a, what's it, a pint glass in the UK? And this tastes delicious. That is a simple protein smoothie that I highly recommend. For those who don't like smoothies and you just want to get protein in, you can use one of the like, uh, like the clear whey, which is like a big thing that my protein's doing. If I'm being honest, I'm a simple basic man. I love the old school regular way. I like the thickness that I can get in a shake. It makes me feel more full. If you want to have squash and have like a little bit extra protein in the day, that is when I'd opt for one of the clear whey things. Anyways guys, for my protein, my discount link is down below. Typically it's a 37% discount off the whole site. But anyways, I'll see you guys for the next meal. Wise good people, we are back with another meal. This is gonna be a super fast one as well that I'm gonna make. And the main source of protein in this meal is gonna be from uh, Muscle Foods chicken sticks. So I've got one of them, which is the Chinese stick flavor, and the other one, which is spicy chicken flavor, which is my favorite. And what we're gonna do is make it with egg noodles. So it's gonna be a chicken stir fry. Uh, if you don't have these or don't buy from Muscle Foods, you can just use normal chicken. It just means that you would have to obviously take the time to season it and stuff like that. Whereas today I'm running short on time, so I'm gonna go for these as my go-to. Because as you guys know, I, I order literally like 40 of these every single month just for the times when I haven't got time to cook. What I'm gonna do is do the stir fry part. That should only take around five, six minutes. I've already got the pan on preheat. All I'm gonna do is add in the noodles and the veg and then either microwave the chicken and then put them in the pan or I could literally let them heat through on the pan. The microwave would probably be quicker, so I might choose that option. Alright folks, and here we have it, this is the final meal. It's around 45 grams of protein, you should see the macros on the screen. And the calories is under 500 calories, and it's a decent filling bowl, partly due to the veg. These egg noodles are great, they're not too high calorie, but they are still tasty. Uh, the same other egg noodles, depending on what brand you get, that can be much more high calorie. But these are the ones that's pretty good. You also have rice noodles as well as another option. But yeah, what I'm going to do is eat this right now and carry on my day. But yeah, it's a very quick meal. This has only been like around seven minutes. That's the benefit of having like those foods already prepared. So whether you prepare it and potentially defrost it from the freezer or, or get it out of the fridge if you've meal prepped it, this can really speed up sometimes when you're on a rush. If you're someone that doesn't like meal prepping, then obviously the only other option is to either buy a food that's already prepared that you can take out and use. That's still macro friendly. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this before it gets cold. I'll see you guys for the next meal. Alright people, we are back with another day and today's one is going to be somewhat unconventional for a fitness YouTuber but we've got to keep it real, not everyone like home prepares things every single day. So today's one is a quick and simple one and it's a pizza. Probably thinking TJ you've lost your mind, how is this kind of a high protein meal? It is because it is actually not bad. This whole pizza is only 620 calories, so just to compare it to my head, it's a decent sized pizza. Typically I only eat half of it, but today I've been so like in like a, like a little mind on my own and my computer doing work that I haven't eaten in like the last seven hours, as mad as it sounds, it happens frequently when you get in a wormhole. Anyone that's a developer on computers that does IT probably knows his struggle. But anyways, 40 grams of protein in one sitting is pretty decent, you know what I mean? Some of the meals I make are roughly around 40 to like 70 grams of protein, depending on what it is. But for a pizza, 40 grams of protein and only 20 grams of fat is actually not bad. Go look up the amount of calories and fat that is in a Domino's pizza or even the other pieces you buy from like a supermarket that's probably a lot thicker and deep dish they are double that usually more like around the 40 to 50 grams they usually almost equal the amount of protein I'm telling you people everything has to be that broccoli and rice life I am very happily gonna have this 620 calorie pizza with 40 grams of protein and I won't feel any sort of guilt not that you should anyway but like some people really do but yeah man trust me it's all about balance and to me, 40 grams of protein while having a nice pizza every so often is a win. All right guys, while I was cooking, I decided to do some cardio. So I was on there for about 10 minutes. By the way, when I do cardio, I wear the most raggedy of clothing just because I don't want to sweat up my good shit. 
Anyways, let's see the pizza. Here we have it, the pizza. As you can see, people, this pizza looks delicious. I think I showed it in a full day or something recently and people enjoyed it. But yeah, this is from Asda. Anyways, I'm gonna destroy this now because I'm famished and I'll see you guys for the next meal. Why is good people? Right now, I wasn't even gonna film, but I thought I might as well show you this meal that I'm making. So what I'm gonna do is a bacon medallion and sausage sandwich. And you know, the link is always for the egg whites it's in the description box. I always buy in bulk. This time I bought loads, you can see them in the fridge. I've got like six in the fridge because I've been having a lot more egg whites than usual. Also, I've not long done my cardio, so that's why I'm wearing this big, this one of my cardio hoodies that I wear. So, ooh, this light, it makes it like I got decent abs. I might have to do all the videos like this. Anyways, as this is like a last minute bonus meal, I didn't show you all the steps, but a lot of you should know how to make this. You put the bacon on the pan, you cook the sausages as well, and then you add the eggs, maybe about three quarters of the way done, and then you just mix them around the pan. You could use two separate pans, but then you gotta do twice the washing up. And I want to do that shit. So as I said, I'm going to make a sandwich. But what I'm going to do is select my bread. You could use lower calorie, just normal bread. This is like 70 calories a slice. But I'm going for this one, which I think is 93 or 90, no, 92 calories a slice. Just because I love it. It's this seeded bread. And to make the sandwich a little bit more crunchy, you can either put it on the pan to kind of toast it. Or to put it in a toaster for like around 30 seconds. It just makes it taste better. Totally happy with this. Let's have a bite and test this out. So yeah, here you go. This is the meal I've got right here. A nice, quick, high protein meal. I put the, a lot of the egg on the side to keep, couldn't fit in the sandwich. Uh, I could have either done this in a wrap as well, which you've seen me do many times. Get like a large wrap and push it all in there and fill it out. But yeah, man, I really enjoyed this. So I'm gonna eat this right now before it gets too cold. And carry on with the day. The macros should have been on screen so you can see it. Decent, high protein, and fairly low calorie. If you want to make it lower calorie, obviously switch out the bread. But this is what I personally am going to have right now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing some of the high protein meals I like to have throughout the week. As I said, it's all about balance, people. Some things are quick meals, some meals that you have to actually plan and prepare and kind of cook. Even still, all the meals that I make roughly all take under around 22 minutes because I like eating on the day fresh, but I don't like spending ages and ages in the kitchen, even though I do like cooking. Anyways, people, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. If you're brand new, subscribe, click the bell, and I'll see you guys for the next full day of eating. Make a million cash for you flatline. Make a master plan, watch it backfire.